All right, so I'm going to show you what I know about creating a custom conversion pixel in Facebook. Now, by the time that I record this and maybe put it out into the world, Facebook would probably, uh, I'm going to change how they do things, but it's uh, wherever they change the menus. And if you see this after and they've changed it, um, it's pretty much going to be, I, was, I would assume, <laughs> the same process. But um, let me show you how I would do a custom conversion and why I would do this. So um, this is the ads manager where you would be. And under the ads manager, you can go into the menu here and where you have all tools where you can see here that there's custom conversions right there. I don't know if it is there for you or not, but if it's not, you can scroll over here under measures, a uh, measure and report and also custom conversions. Okay. So when you click that, what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to make a custom conversion and it's very simple. So you, you create, you click that and now you're using your pixel that is on your fate, your um, website and all you're going to do is put in a URL that it contains in this in this case. Usually that's kind of what I do, right? So for, for example, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to move over to my website here and you'll see that this is my main page. And for instance, let's say that somebody wanted to, I wanted to track um, people that are going to this this page here, right? Let me just let it load for a second. Okay, so this is like an invitation to a coaching program. And then when they click this, I mean, I'm, I, I want to track this first, let's say. And then I want to maybe track as well the application. So if they click, where is it here? Come on, this is a big long sales letter, right? So if they click this, then they'll go to like an application. And that application looks like this, okay? So I want to track maybe to the, the, the process that they're going through. So the first thing that I would do is I would grab this URL up here. And you don't need your domain. All you need is this piece right here. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to move back over to the ads manager. And I'm going to paste that right in here, okay? And that I'm going to choose a category. And this is really just a page view thing, okay? So you can't see this here because it's off screen. But it's uh, page, uh, where is it here? I, it's actually... Yeah, view content. I was going to pick lead down here at the bottom. You can't see it's because it's off camera. But this one here, I'm going to just select as a view content. And you can see here that the URL um, pasted in here without the domain. And then I'm going to click next, which is also off camera. And then I'm going to name it, right? So I'm going to say um, SPL, um, you know, coaching page view. Okay, and I can put a description here if I want to which I'm not. And then you can also set a value. So let's say that this value, if it was a lead or a sale, you could say this is worth like, you know, a thousand bucks. You could put that in there. So, but there's no value here because this is really just a page view. And I'm going to create that. And I'm done. Okay. So that pixel is now right here and it's not firing yet. Right. So there's no activity. And if everything works out in internet land, if I go back here and kind of refresh the page if my pixels are on this page. I haven't, I should have done this before I shot the video, but if it did, right, I refresh the page, come back to this, refresh the page, and we should see a green little activity button or thingy. No. Okay, so there's no pixel on that page, but normally you would see this. It would be active. I just haven't, I should have done that before I shot the video, my fault, but you would have the pixel on your page, which is a totally other separate video altogether, right? But um, that's how you would do that, and it would it would activate that um, that pic that pixel, and then you could put in the next piece of your funnel, which in my case would be this application, right? When and that is kind of a, that would be a lead application. So again, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go back here. I'm going to create another custom. I'm going to paste that URL in there. And then the category, you can't see it, it's off screen, but when I click it, now you can see it's lead. Because now it's actually a lead, right? Because, well, unless they sub submit it, really, you know, in, I guess you could put this on the thank you page of the application. That would be a better spot for it. But you get what I'm, where I'm going with this, right? That would be a lead. And then you select next. And then this would be SPL uh, coaching application, you know, lead. And let's say there's a conversion value, it's worth 500 bucks. And then I create that. All right. And there's my, my uh, pixel right, or sorry, my uh, conversion right here. 
and and then I could do that for the whole funnel all the way down. And then when I'm creating ads, I could use these custom conversion pixels in the ad because that'll come up when it when it comes up in the ad. It'll say which which conversion or which pixel do you want to um, you know maximize or optimize this this page for or this uh, this ad. I'm just gonna just for my own. Let me just see if this will work. Just want to see if there's a pixel on this page or not. And go back here. And no, there's no pixel there. Okay, well, anyway, that's how you do the custom uh, conversions. I just wanted to shoot this really, really quick video just so you can get into the right spot and you put your funnels in here and you're off to the races, all right?